Tell you what I'd like. No, you he's obviously because he... You, he's been here the whole time. Look at us getting... Chris and the way he is and his anxiety, etc, 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 etc. Well, yeah. When this all kicked off and he couldn't deal with it, I actually run you. Right. Well, I run the Kent office and go to your national line, which I run and explain to Chris and his anxiety problems and etc, etc, etc. And she actually said to me, well, I'll try and find out the officer dealing with it and I'll get her to give you a call. Nothing. That got absolutely nothing, which I, I felt was disgusting, knowing how Chris is and how he got so anxious about the whole thing. Yeah. I never got a So I want that noted that no one's in public contact. There's like, there's like £10,000 worth of bikes here, and yeah. like that money could have been spent treating my dog, you know? Okay. You haven't even met me. That's right, yeah. You've never right. even been to my house. You don't know my capabilities, you know? And I could have treated that dog and and, 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 and you put it to sleep. When, and the thing was, is she was getting better the whole time. Well, we've, yeah, we've yeah, had yeah. three different vets look at her and they, they all recommended euthanasia for the beach. Well, they would have had some reason that euthanasia because you didn't want to give it back to me, did you? Well, you we don't just... Yeah, but you did. No, you said that you did. You did say that to start with. You said, um, and you said you, you didn't want to give it back. And the vet you took in. And the vet, the vet told me that they thought that they the vet yeah. collected her. You took her to the vet, and the vet never sort of mentioned that at all. Oh, well, I don't know about that because I was brought in later when, once the dog was already in the vet. So I don't, don't know. I'll, I'll just put. I'll just, listen, if I'd have seen that dog, um, in in a, in a cage pen. Like she was, but she was getting. She was. I was treating. She was getting better. She was getting better. To be fair, again, you know. Okay. Yeah. And then she didn't get no treatment for twenty four hours in in their care, so they didn't take her to the vet. And then you're 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 here because you're saying I didn't get a veterinary care. When on that video there as well, let's make it well noted that that lady opposite says that it's not her responsibility to take the dog to a vet. Well, I'm sorry. If I see an animal and I think it's suffering, it has to go straight to the vet, not to anyone else. Am I right? Well, where, you know. Well, it depends. I mean, the the, 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 the animals you've got to take somebody else's animal to a vet. Yeah. So I mean, that vet when that she should have been she was left, God knows where, for twenty four hours without any treatment. Look, don't use some guy has got some animal charity. He's well known. He's got, you know, I'm not, I'm not bitten him, but can't, I can't, you can't deal with that man. He was giving me that dog back. And then I, when I've been told he's the dog warden, sorry. He's the dog warden, yeah. but he also runs a little charity around the corner, right? But I can make a phone call now if you really want me to, yeah. Many, when I, many years ago, he come around here, pretended to microchip my dog, yeah, right? Didn't microchip the dog. I, I heard it fall out on the floor. The but, dog is chipped, but it's not registered. No, my other dog. This is the dog warden. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three days later, he's coming back to my dog. Right? He's coming back trying to seize my dog, telling me I'm going to get evicted from the council unless I get my unless I give him one of my dogs. Because my, my American bulldog had a blue eye. Okay. I'm having a panic attack. I'll give him the dog, but the dog was actually my girlfriend's. That. Uh, he didn't take the dog to the vet for 24 hours, yeah? Right? He didn't treat that dog, right? If that dog was in, in a bad way, yeah, that's because he didn't treat it. I was at the vet the day before, right, uh, uh, getting treatment for the dog because the vet gave me a prescription, but I already had the same stuff from my previous dog. It's all show up on the record deck. Yeah. And I was going down there getting more, you know, getting more, um, getting the, because of the prescription ran out or something, yeah? But she was, Dad, what was she like, Dad? She'd go out, didn't she greet you? You know, she'd, have to, you know, she'd go outside. Well, I don't go too deep into it yet. I'm on the phone, Tom. No. Right. Yeah. 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 Same surname? Yeah. It's got C H A W L I N G O. That's the one. Molly, well done. Everybody always does it with an E. Yeah.
So you're not even, you didn't get told about the dog or nothing. What's wrong with you? You're like your jaw with my jaw. Yeah. Um, God's saying, God's saying, put in it. It's a little bit more when it take the dog and it's a little bit naughty. You know, take the dog and then not even, not even say the stuff, just put the sleep. Well, it's communication then, it's the old this point, because yeah, they didn't even bother ringing me back. Well, I'm surprised at the bit. No, the vet told me that the vet told me that she she could come home. He wasn't the vet though. Like, the vet. It's your national concept. The vet told me if she could if she came home she'd have to have you know treatment all the time. Um, which she would which I've been giving her. I'm not surprised she went down there sitting in a cage with not with blind and not even knowing the environment or nothing. What was your date birth, Prince Christopher? The 28th of October, eighty one. Sorry, when 28th of October, 1981. Are you working at the moment? Am I working? Yeah. No. Okay. Do you want if we just turn the sound off? On that? Yeah, I'll give you sound. Sound off. Right, Christopher, I must inform you, you're not under arrest. You're free to leave, terminate the interview, or ask me to leave at any time if you want to do so. The interview will be contemporaneously recorded, so that means I'm going to be writing down my questions and your answers. Mm -hmm. uh, as there's no suitable electronic recording device, av device available. If you do not wish the interview to be conducted at this time, it can be delayed and may be conducted voluntarily at the police station where there may be suitable electronic recording equipment available. Wherever the interview takes place and whether or not the interview is electronically recorded or in written form, you will be asked questions which along with your answers will be recorded. Yeah. The purpose of this interview is to obtain evidence of your involvement or suspected involvement in the, commence in the commission of an offence in relation to failing to get adequate vet treatment for a dog contrary to section 4 of the Animal Welfare Act mm -hmm. 2006. Do you understand why you're about to be interviewed? Um, yeah, I, I understand, but um, on, on, on the pretext that I don't see it necessary as the day beforehand I was at the vets getting the dog, the treatment. Don't getting, go any further. Oh. Okay, so I got two um, on the date four. Is it the best? The, the uh, test uh, has has been getting treated for. 
Tess had already been getting treated. Yeah. I previously went to the vets and he told me that I already had the medic if I still had some medication from my last dog that was put to sleep. And I said yes, so I could use that. I was uh stop there. Huh? Yeah, well, you write it down, are you? Uh, yeah, sure do. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, this is for you. Um, you're not expected to act simply as an observer. The purpose of your presence is to safeguard the rights, entitlements, and welfare of the person being interviewed, to support, advise, and assist them if in accordance with this code or any other code of practice. I've uh, given or asked for why the information or participate in any procedure to observe whether the interviewer is acting properly and fairly, respect their rights, and entitlements, and inform uh, the officer of our rank, Chief Inspector above. If they consider that they are not. So basically, you're here to make sure that I'm acting in a proper manner. You know, I'm not trying to be aggressive or force Christopher to make a well, obviously, I'll take, take care of his needs. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's the important thing. And you're also here so. How you conduct yourself, like I think you've got more, more years' experience than me, eh? But I'm sort of sitting in for his welfare. Yeah, look. You're also here to help me. If, if he doesn't understand what I'm saying, maybe I'll put in a different yeah, I can get that bit. Um, if I don't understand what he's saying, again, you know, have to yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to give you a, a notice, Christopher. You know, there's one for you to have a look at. Uh, you've been provided with the notice which explains the rights that are available to you during this interview, or if mm -hmm. you voluntarily attend the police station for the purpose of an interview. Whilst the notice is entitled, remember your rights whilst the hange, you are not under arrest and you are free to terminate the interview at any time, however you have the same rights as a detained person. Okay. These rights include legal advice, medical assistance or the services of an interpreter or appropriate adult to assist you in, this, in the understanding and taking part of the proposed interview. You may seek any of these things now or at a later stage. And this interview can be delayed for you to obtain any of these things either in person or by telephone through your own sister or the Criminal Defence Service, in some circumstances up to be free of charge. Yeah. If you do not want to do these things now, but change your mind at any stage of the interview, let me know and I'll stop the interview to allow you to obtain the advice or assistance. No, 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 there's no need for that, no. Do you wish to delay the interview to obtain further advice regarding your rights? No, not at all, no, no. Do you require a solicitor at this time? No. If you do not require a solicitor at this time, is there a particular reason why? You don't have to give a reason if you don't need to. Why would, don't I require a solicitor? Mm. Because um, the RSPCA inspectors made so many mistakes um, that there's not even any point in being here. How about that one for a start? <coughs> Do you consent to this voluntary interview continuing? Yes, of course I do, yeah. Okay, if I just get you to sign, just so I'll ask you those questions, please. Just there, it says signature. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Beautiful, thank you. Now, Mr. Chairman, if you could just sign as witness in that. <sighs> Thank you. Do you want a few minutes to have a look through that? No, I'm a while. 
browsing apps and that sort of stuff. It's just an expansion of of the codes of practice Mm -hmm. for police uh, when they conduct interviews. Mm -hmm. We're obviously not the police, but we will abide by those rules uh, as Uh. much as possible. So, I mean, can, so to speak, say what this, all this writing down as this, that and the other. Have you already conducted an investigation and that's why you're here because, is that what you're saying? Is that why you're here? The, the investigation has started, but now we, we need to come and speak to you so you can put your okay, side that's of the Okay, all right, no worries. Okay. So, okay, well. Um, okay, just got to caution you here. That's, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. If you do not mention one question, something that you later rely on in court, anything you do say it may be given in evidence. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yeah, that? yeah, cool. Is there a charge as such then? Well, of course it's a... Of course no, it's, not it's, it's, look. No, he's not charged, is he? He's got to do an investigation because it's, you know. What happens is. He can investigate something or the police can investigate it, it doesn't matter. They can launch a prosecution, can't they? All the evidence and interview will go forward to uh, someone independent oh. at the RSPCA headquarters who will review oh. it and decide what happens from there. It's not you then? No. Ah, oh, I don't know. I didn't bother keep ringing because I just thought to myself, the workload probably you got is just. I just was like, anyway. But then they have my number. If they couldn't contact you, they have my number. So. Basically, the sensible thing would have been knowing what I told him on the phone in his condition and the way he is would be to deal with me if they couldn't contact him. Unfortunately, we've got to deal with him. Uh, what sort of animal is Tess? She's a dog. Are you the owner of Tess? I am the owner of Tess. Are you the person responsible for Tess? Yeah. Well, was. Is there anyone else who has responsibility for Tess? Mm-hmm. Um, only if only if she's found by somebody else, and they have them have a responsibility to. Uh, if she's injured, they have responsibility. Then for. Uh, She's old enough, she wasn't going to live forever, but she wasn't like, she was just blind, wouldn't she? So she, it, you know, she only, she only knew this house, wouldn't she? It's that thing, blind people live, don't they? That's how blind, you know? I can only imagine shut away in a cage for a couple of weeks, she, she wouldn't know what to do. When did you get Tess? 
I've got a wrist bang. Her ear was almost falling off. I'll, I'll fix it. Right, the stage. Hang on. Okay. Somebody gave me chess at a bar in Spain. Yeah. I then couldn't leave Tess, so I had to spend at least, well, it took, well, let's say, it probably cost me 4,000 4, euros, because I had to rent a house, stay in the house, pay someone to look after Tess when I wasn't there. Hang on. So then I bought my other dog. Hang on. So, rent a house, stay in a house. And then we've got a swimming pool. And we've got we, all three of us, my other dog come to Spain as well. And all three of us have a swimming pool. Let's need the dogs. And then Tess got her passport and we all come back to England. When did you get Tess? Oh, um, maybe 2017. In Spain. She's registered to the Spanish for you see. Like I said to you, when I first got her, I didn't have a passport, she didn't have any passport or anything. And we had to wait six months for them to write to the previous address so I could change over her Hang on. ID into my Hang Spanish on. address. How old was Tess when you got her? Um, I don't know, I, mean, I, can't, I actually can't remember at the moment. Be fair.
Didn't know you could read that. Can you pick something new up? Did Tess have any medical issues when you got up? Yeah, her ear was almost falling off. And she's always had a... Um, uh, like a... She always sort of had a little bit of a walk funny, you know? She suffered from a skin condition on and off. Um, yeah, the population used to outscore my age, mate. Huh? The population used to outscore my, my day. What do you mean? Oh, they don't go to school now, do they? Who don't go to school? Kids. They don't go to school, otherwise their parents get fine. They don't seem to be there very long during the day, do they? I mean, they're going at lunchtime. Um, that's not me, I'll take them out of school during holidays. We were fine now, during the term time. Do you know? What? Fine. I should just teach people it's at home. It'd be cheap to give them a big TV. Is Tess registered with a bed? Yep. Yeah, the one down the uh, pits are out of here. Have you owned many dogs? Yeah, my whole life. I don't like people, I like dogs. Most of the time. <clears throat> what are our recent laws and etc etc? Your dog's only got a bark at someone now and, and he can get arrested. He's dead. Really? Yeah. Mind you, I, I read that thing about that woman in Cairo. How horrific that must have been. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Once they go, though, it's, it's packing, I think, with the yeah, dogs in it. Yeah. Packing, packing. And then I sat there and saw a girl last night mm. walking six dogs. You think you're like, yeah, you rest a little while, wouldn't you? Chess and PJ were like completely different. <laughs> oh, yeah, but they're not like a, a pack. I mean, I read one once about a woman that fed these dogs for God knows how many years. And she was around this person's house putting the washing out and her dogs out. And she fed them while she put the washing out, and all of a sudden it kicked up, and like they ripped her to pieces. Don't, don't, you, don't you remember this when this family uh, wrapped me up in the in the, the train and pissed over me? Yeah. It ran around around the circles, and ran around the circles. I was standing there as a kid in the park, and then got ran ran around the circles. Did then he pulled me over, and then come up to me and just pissed all over me. Ran and walked off, didn't he? <laughs> A bit of sports being around there. We used to have a Jack Russell that used to escape out the house. He used to, he used to jump up onto the little, you know, little six foot fences, yeah. the little thin bit. He used to jump up there, Dad, didn't it? Walk along to the next bit, go to a neighbour's house, and sit round there in, in, in their front room getting stoned all day. Six foot fence. Didn't it? Was, he used to come over absolutely wrecked, didn't it, Dad? Six foot fence panel, wasn't it? There was nothing you could do with it, Dad, was there? No. But it was, he used to climb out and just go around the neighbourhood. I've had an hand cut it. <laughs> How many dogs have you owned? One, two, three. Actually, mine. Well, to be fair, Jack, actually, Sam. Sam was mine, wasn't it? The one stole off me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty
three, four, six, six, seven dogs. But we had 13 puppies. And I, and I babysit both of them for ages. Hard work, don't I? Well, I just went and rented a house in Wales and kept, and we, we all stayed there. And I just took them for walks up the mountains. Because they were too big, they were too big up here, they were too big to have around here. American Bulldogs, I like American Bulldogs. <coughs> I've still got them. Uh, what dog do you have prior to test? No, I, just, I, I always had PJ. And then I had PJ's mum before that. Not named after PJ and Duncan, was it? No, pyjamas. He's called pyjamas. Mm. Yeah, he has four white no. socks on him. When did your last dog die? Oh, about when did he go? Did he go like four or five months ago? No, I was not even there. What then, Bob? Well, what way have I been? I've been so busy here. It wasn't a year. No way. I think so. No. Six, seven months. And what was that from? Cancer, basically. Yeah, cancer, the vet said. Yeah. The two vets, the two vets, I took them to. Listen, I slept out. I slept outside the vet's one night, all night with him. With that dog, all night I slept outside until it opened. Yeah. Well, right. And how old was the other dog? It's about ten, ten, same age. Yeah. Which is a bloody good age for a dog that big. Because I'm the only sort of. Imputed to sort of like no land, aren't they? Because of the size of them. They say. Yeah. Have you ever seen that the codes of practice for the welfare of dogs produced by DEFRA? The, the codes of practice? No, I haven't actually seen that official document, no. Where did 
to get one. No, you can get it from the website, you can go down to Citizen Advice or the library. Um, you know, it's only a code of practice, isn't it? Ninety-five percent of the population won't even know. It's not. Yeah, it's, no, I, I agree with that. They won't. There's acts of there's acts of parliament and com, common law and stuff that doesn't even. Is that getting demolished? I need that pile of chocolate. Well, from. Yeah, go on. Then. Did, vet, uh, did Tess have regular vet checks? Tess was at the vet. Um, um, a few weeks beforehand, she'd been getting treatment. I've been to the vets twice. Um, Hang on there. Yeah. Um, her condition, and uh, the vet had given me, told me to get, um, given me a prescription, but he said it's the same medicine as you had, as you had for your other dog. So if you still got some, you can use that. Hang on, man. Which you did. Yeah. No. Look, I'll show you another job. I'll show you. So I have all this. There we go. Any bacteria on it, free treatment. You need to like that. Right. There's the. Hello. That's what he told me to use that. <coughs> but no, it all. What? All the medicine she had. If we take tonight, it all. No, it doesn't matter anyway because it's, it's like, it, it's just, it doesn't matter, does it? Not a problem. It's not me who can take him to the vets for 24 hours when I've when been treating her every day. He's not a vet, the dog walker's not a vet, he's a dog walker. He needs to get over himself. You should have treated my dog. Right, so you've got another can here. <coughs> yeah, when I had some, that clever, clever vesting of, 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 clever vesting of uh, something, yeah. I'll, I'll list these for you, alright? Mm. The policeman's always done that as well. Sorry? The police have already done that. Are they? Yeah, from... That's what I'm saying, so look at all the stuff I've got for her. And why she had treatment for 24 hours and then she was giving it to you? That's what was not acceptable. Oh, is that how it works? He, he's he... not a vet. He's, he's not a vet. Yeah, I know. Is that how it works? No, yeah, he takes animals in and tries to treat himself to save money. And they should do something, you should do something about it. Not do something, there's nothing to do, nothing to do about me. <laughs> do something about him. If I can take the dog to the vet, if the dog needs vet treatment, don't have to be seen, why isn't it at the vet? Straight away. It's at the vet, it should be down, down the vet. And you've got, I've recorded, you've got that woman up, that woman, that lady up there as well. I saw, I saw we've, recall, we've recorded her, because I was at the vet's the day before, um, getting a repeat prescription, because Tess was doing well, and I thought, I didn't want to give up her antibiotics, you know. I didn't, I didn't want to stop her antibiotics, you know. And she got worse, so. Uh.
And I said, that's going to bring me. Oh, poor old Tess. Uh, when was Tess last at the vets for a checkup? Well, that's a checkup, not just going to the vets. For a checkup for what? Well, uh, what just a, norm, a normal checkup? Mm, yeah. Well, typically. I actually, I mean, to be fair with you, I actually don't recall because I've got a very, I've got a little bit of a bad memory. But she goes to the vets when she needs she needs treatment, you know. So she was there. She was like I said, she was there t twice about uh, the ongoing condition, you know. And obviously the vet explained to me at that point, you know, she's old, blah blah blah. So, but um, hang on, hang on. yeah. Which I find a bit of a misleading question. But well, well, when do you go to the doctors when there's something wrong? When do you take the dog to the vets if there's something wrong? That's like naming it in a crossroad question. No, not really. Just to make the show, yeah. Well, no, because in their world, you're supposed to take them every six months. Okay, she was there twice recently. The vet said she's old. The vet said she was old any she she was old anyway, you know, so but he didn't say about putting her to sleep. Right, my name's going to quick pay. What? Thirty seconds. You guys smoke now? No, no, no. I'll, I'll wait to come back before going on then. Well, sorry for you then, going out for a bag. Right. Right. I'm just going to steal these back on. Yeah. Yeah, Next yeah. One. Save a tree. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we're trying to do. Not very well, man. Save a tree, save money. Let me tell you that. 
Fuck. Swing the cans up. Don't they come tomorrow and do something? Ring you up. Card. Things to do. Yeah, you can agree with it. Alright, now you're right now, are you? That's How'd you think? Yeah. Stressed it, yeah. Oh. Carry on now, can we go back? Yeah, you're quite Oh, right, brilliant. Do you think Tess is a healthy dog? Was a healthy dog. Do I think she was a healthy dog? Yeah. Uh, no, no. No, she was, um, she had, she had a little bit of a skin condition and a dog, and a, and a, and a bad paw. They got caught, he got caught in the door. She lost her, her claw. That's what we was treating. Yeah, that, that's your uncle. Who? Oh. Is there one? She went 18 months ago. What? Pinkler. You didn't die 18 months ago. Not 18 months ago at all. Not even, it, it was Christmas Day. Yeah, I know it's about that time. But it's Christmas time, it's after Christmas. Yeah, it's after Christmas. And how long has Tess been blind? Um, so she's done, she's always had a, a poor right side ever since I've got her. She had a cataract or whatever. Um, but um, no one ever, there wasn't any treatment, no one the vet's never said anything about treatment. Um, yeah. So, but she went properly blind about two months ago. Not long, actually, not long after PJ died. Funny, isn't it? Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Make sure it's too old now. What's that? Cooler. Huh? Cooler. Don't call you up until he's 15. 16, you play. Do they? Yeah. It's 59, I think it is. Yeah. And you play. 59. I suppose you can pull the trigger, can't they? Who's in the border? Who's in Ukraine? A month ago. Yeah. Yeah. Who's in Messi out there, was it? Huh? Messi out there. No, it's all right. Is it? It was worse than we got home because everyone had rang the police up and said that I took some, I took some chick, some just 22 year old woman to Ukraine and that we was on top of tanks waiting to get blown up. Well, the tanks have already been blown up, that's why we was on top of them in, in, yeah. in the centre of Kiev. They'd done an investigation and started, do you know what I mean? You know? Like everyone just went off on one over nothing. Well, yeah. first, first of all, they said she was a child and I'd kidnapped a child because she's quite small. Yeah? And then they said, up, these days all on my Facebook, who is this child you got with you? She's 22. Yeah? And I was, and there was, there was, because my Facebook was open. Look, look and then the, multiple people had called the police. Mm. Right? And this, this guy who was crazy and, and, and obsessed with her called the police and said that I was trying to kill her and that I took her, she, she, and took her to my. So when she came back, the police phone, I said, um, what did you go to? Painful. She said, oh, I want to go back. She said, I feel a lot safer there than what I do on the streets of England. <laughs> they went right, we're closing the investigation. But it just goes to show. Yeah. 
<laughs> How long has Tess had the skin condition? Um, well, to be honest with you, on and off, um, since I've got her, it flares up in different patches. Yeah, it used to flare up, didn't it? Some yeah, slide, yeah, it yeah, yeah. Up yeah. Bit like eczema, wasn't it? Well, I, 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 you know, it was, um, I treated her before, when I first got her, her ear was falling off. She's having the biggest shit in here, don't want to Yeah. You always knew Sunday night biscuit time, don't you? Huh? You always knew Sunday night biscuit time. Will you be questioning the doctor, then? No. There we go. That's something to do with the council. What do you mean to do with the council? Well, it's your job, job to investigate. He's employed by them, so they no, will no, be doing no, their own. No, no, it's your job to investigate the... It's your job to investigate Tess and what's happened to Tess. You're, and you're just coming round and investigating me. No, so no, um, if, if you want me to answer any more questions, you, come, you have to come back with another attitude towards it, then. Won't you? Well, you've already complained to the police and they... they well, no, well then, then, then why are you investigating me? And if you're not going to investigate that matter, I'll send you the video. This is your opportunity to give your account of the, of the, of the test when I ask you a question about it. Well, we know what's happened already and you're not going to investigate it. You just told me that to my face just now. We're not investigating them, we're not taking the dog to the vet for 24 hours. And give you no treatment. So, 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 I was at the vet today before. The dog was having treatment. The dog hasn't had treatment with the vet for 24 hours. If you want to continue questioning me and start carrying on, then I suggest you change your attitude towards it and go and investigate him as well and question him. Right, so you say you don't want to answer any more of my questions? Well, not if you're not going to do a proper thorough investigation into what happened to test, no. I thought you might do a proper investigation, but you've clearly got to be in your bonnet about me and you're just picking on me. Because otherwise, I mean, you, 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 this is all aimed at me. Right, when I sent you the video, I have sent you the video of that lady over there saying it's not my responsibility to take her to the vet. She was given to the dog warden. Right, so, in those two, and the dog warden is not a vet, yeah? No, you're saying he is. Right, he's not qualified to treat that animal. So that dog was in the vet's care for 24 hours. Your the OSPCA, whether it's the council or a civilian or anyone else, it's your job to investigate that, what's going on. Whether it's a chicken farm, a pig farm, if there's animal cruelty or animal neglect, it's your responsibility, your job, well, if you, you made it your job, you, you took my dog and you killed her, you know? It's your responsibility, right, to go and investigate it properly. If you investigate it properly, he did not give my dog veterinary treatment. You need to close that man down, and instead you're round here picking on me, picking on me, because I've got a personal grudge with the guy. I've stopped the guy even using it, even the council van for private, for private use. And he didn't treat that dog, right? He takes them dogs and all them animals down there, does it all himself, saves money on the vet, charges everyone. That's what's going on. Well, he clearly did it in this case because he brought the dog to us. He took the dog to you. He said to me, "Not getting your fucking dog back." That's what he said to me on the phone, right? The second time he's used that disgusting attitude with me. Look, look. If my dog didn't get taken to the vet within that 24-hour period, there's no, and you're not going to investigate it. Then take me to court, right? And then I'll bring that up in the. I'll, I'll, I'll bring that up. We'll bring, if you want to charge me, you can charge me. And then obviously I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll have to complain because you're not investigating. 
you're not investigating the whole situation. You're investigating me, you're not investigating what happened to Tess, are you? Right. Circumstances. You're, until you've got that dog into your possession, right? Yeah? Then the whole time up until then, you need to be investigating it. You come round here and you just want to investigate me. And I don't find that very acceptable. I don't find that... So you're saying you don't answer any more questions, then? Not until you change your attitude and your direction towards it. It's not, there's absolutely no point carrying on because you're not doing a proper investigation and I'm going to have to go, I'm going to get back on the phone, I'm going to complain about you, right, because you're not investigating what happened to my dog, right? 24 hours without veterinary treatment is long enough for my dog to go downhill. My dog was fine. So why are you picking on me? You know? And obviously there's a part of that that she never got for 24 hours. They're looking all that for 24 hours. She never even got the medicine because and everything else. She's been for 24 hours. If there's an element of concern. But he's got the video. He's already seen the video. I've explained it to him. He's, he's, he's had it in for me from day one. You know, he's had it in for me from day one. He's just listened to what that bloody, that, 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 honestly. It's another Jimmy Savile, you know? And everyone, listened, everyone loved Jimmy Savile, didn't they? Everyone listened to him. He's got all young people working down there. As Chris, I listen. Would you like a bit of your choice to examine Tess? A bit of my choice to examine Tess? Tess has been put to sleep. Yeah. Because, because you left we, her in a cage. You left her in a cage. You, her, we, uh, get, we get a vet report done on her. And you can have one done independently if you so wish. A vet report on her? Yeah. Hey, An independent vet? Yeah, she's been put to sleep. Well, yeah. you put her to and sleep. And it's post mortem. But you, you put her to sleep and there's no, you haven't even done the proper investigation. Well, how can you, I mean, I if mean. If the vet says that this dog needs to be put to sleep, we will always go with what the vet says. If the, dog, if the vet says this dog just needs these pills to make it better, we're giving that those pills. In this case, the vet said the dog needs to be put to sleep. So we go with what the vet says. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, you, you said she never come. You said before all that that she wasn't coming back. You got it. I've got it on your email. I've got it in the email. You said to me yeah. that I can't email. make the right choice about the dog. Yeah. yeah. Right. But you haven't even seen me, mm. my resources, and the fact that the dog was getting treated. Yeah, we were talking about. I know, but you. I know. Tests. Can you appreciate where I'm coming from? If you're not going to willingly to investigate where my dog was. Or what treatment she got, whether it's come on. Okay. Come on, twenty four listen, twenty four twenty four hours about treatment and you're not gonna investigate it. Do you want an independent vet to do a report on your dog? Well what the only gonna do a post mortem on the dog, isn't it? Yeah, they do exactly the same. Where is the dog? What my dog's what to sleep? Where is the dog? It's it's with us at the moment. What in the freezer? Yeah. Uh, right, what's the point of what's the point of doing it? I mean I'd rather have my dog back in the in the in the box, to be fair to you, you know. Right, then go go through this. Okay. My, the, the, my, my point of view is my point of view is is that dog should have been taken straight to the vets. From from the moment they picked it up, it should have gone straight to the vets, buddy. Right. Now if my local authority isn't running an effective service which is offering animals the protection they need Right, and not treating them, is that not something that you're going to do something about? Is right. that not something... You've already complained to the police, so they've looked into that matter, uh, and they've said that there's nothing to be... So I've got... Oh, you're, you're, you're not going to... You're not going to... You, you, so, because you're going on to me, you're trying to investigate me, yeah? But then, yeah. look at this at the magistrates, or, the, or the, the magistrates' court, where I might end up, sir, right? And then I go to the magistrates with my, with my solicitor, and my solicitor says, look, there's a 24-hour gap there where the dog didn't get any veterinary treatment. You know, anything could have happened at the, in, that, in that point of view, right? So if you want them to do a proper investigation, yeah, right, and try and, and if you, you know, you seem to be quite intent on prosecuting me for this, for whatever, yeah, you, seem, you don't seem to be, you know, don't take any of don't listen to me or anything. If you want to do that, then you're going to have to, yeah, before you give that evidence to the Crown Prosecution Service, investigate that 24 hours. Because otherwise, it's just going to get, there's not going to be a case. Well, I'm investigating the time <laughs> period before the dog got 
Got to be double what, he's, what he's making is that dog wall has a duty of care. That is a duty of care, care, and under law, under yeah, law, that's and it his wasn't, job. and that, got, and, that job. and that, and that was not acted upon. So and you're, this, and you're this, now around your here, job, you're though. now around here, when that dog wasn't treated properly at a veterinary surgery, like it should have been, a vet, a trained, qualified person. I was at the vet the day before getting the medication for the dog. I was waiting for the, I was waiting for the follow-up phone call, right. So I had already done my obligations, yeah, that day. The, you know, my, my dog goes out that door, walks around the corner, comes back and taps on the door and lets herself to get to let in. She scratches the door. I never miss her, right? She's never a problem. <coughs> I woke up a little bit late that day, yeah, about 11 o'clock, right? I let her straight out because she needed a wee, right? I didn't clean her eyes that morning, you know? So when someone got hold of her, you know, when they see her at the top of the road, she might have looked a bit worse for wear, right? Do you know what I mean? But she just woken up, I let her out for a do her toilet, and someone picked her up and took her up. So, all right. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. You know, take her to the vets immediately, right? Because the dog looks like it needs treatment, yeah? That's why the, my dog, the dog warden's giving you the dog, because the dog's needed treatment, yeah? Right? It's in the bag, so why didn't you take it for treatment? If when he picked the dog up, if when he picked the dog up, he should have taken that dog straight for treatment, but he didn't because he saves money, he builds the council. Does I'm it here all... to talk about dog warning. Well, you know, you're, you're here talking about right. Tess. Do you want someone to examine a test or a report? Listen, you? I've recorded this whole thing, right? Okay, that's and, and it's quite clear to me that you are not prepared to investigate the whole situation. Yeah? You're not, I'm not looking at that, I'm looking at the time. The police have test. not done an investigation. It's one police officer in the police station. There hasn't been a crime report. I haven't reported it as a crime. So there hasn't been a proper investigation. Let me be let me let me tell you about that. So if you, if I look, and I can assure you, right, I have many dealings with the police. If I ring the police up and I say to the police, blah blah blah, because they failed to investigate so much against me, they'll have to investigate that. And you, you should have been investigating it as well. You're, you, you're refusing to investigate it. I'm going to take it you don't want the vet to it. Well, is that so? I'll tell you you don't want the vet to examine test then. So, no, I just want my dog back. I, just, I, want you to do, I want you to do what everyone pays you to do. And everyone gives money to charity for. And, but you're refusing to, to stick up for the, the normal, normal man. And it just proves you're not a charity. You're just part of the government. Just protecting them all. Unbelievable, isn't it, Dad? Dad? Have you had a report back to the police? From the I'm just going to ring, I'll ring them up now and say to them that they'll have, have to put a complaint in on, on 101. And he, he, he says he's, he's, he's clear as day, Dad, that he, he's not interested in the 24 hours that the dog warden had him. He's not interested in that, so he's biased towards the dog warden. So basically, you can so, so he's biased towards the dog warden, he's prepared to try and get a conviction against me, right? Without doing a proper investigation, he wants to miss things out. This is what this, this guy this guy here wants to do. He wants to protect the dog warden and the dog warden's charity. Yeah, save him a lot of trouble and this, that, and the other. Possible suspension from work, and it's easier to come and try and pick on me. When look, I've got all that medication. I was at the vets the day before, right, like less than twenty four hours, and and the, the dog warden couldn't even take my dog to the vets. And it was so bad, so bad, that he had to hand it over to the RSPCA. You know? Let's, 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 let's face this. And, and they put the dog to sleep and not even told me. I mean, and I've not even been convicted of anything. And they've not even done an investigation. I'm not a bit. So why, okay. they You're going to be reported to the RSPCA headquarters, which may result in a possible prosecution. Do you understand? So that? are you, for not doing a proper investigation. I can assure you about that. I've, I'll send the whole thing off. You know, as much as... I've got like 5 million views of my videos on Google and like, if I put a review on Google, it goes straight to the top. This will be number one. What I'm just going to say is... I can't believe it. As much as they've got their own set up where they get vets to look at tests and say best she gets... They've got vets. The dog ball domain got vets. By the same token, you <laughs> take him to a qualified vet the day before who didn't... No, I didn't. I didn't. She was already, she was all right. It's because they didn't treat her for 24 hours. But he's ignoring this. Would you like to read through what I've uh, recorded? 
No, I'm fine. I just I would like to make a complaint at some point. No, okay. Well, I can't deal with that for you. You have to bring that in. Uh, you can do that if you look at the RSPCA website under complaints. Uh, so you're not you're not going to look into the fact that, that um, this guy is not treating the animals. I'm not looking into that. I'm you're not going to you're bit. not going to look. Pardon? I'm dealing with you and your bit. Who's so? Why are you not dealing with that then? Because that's yeah. how that's how Tess has got to you in that condition. Yeah. That's how Tess has got to you in that condition. Okay. It's clear. That's the clear as day. She had 24 hours of that treatment. This is clear as day. And any treatment given is irrespective because they're not a trained vet. Anyway. No, I think we're going to get any further. So thank you for your time anyway, and uh, we'll be in contact in due course. Well, I'm, well, I'm going to bring up and try and get try and get the proper investigation done in the okay. first place because I don't, my, do, my dog suffered now because of this. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Thank you for your time. Talk no, no, you. you're welcome to. So, thanks. I know you're doing your job. I appreciate you doing your job. No worries. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, down that way, yeah, that's it, right there, yeah, yeah, that's it. Just, uh, we'll be out of the box. Yeah, thank you very much. That's that, Wrong, isn't it? Huh? Wrong, isn't it? Huh? Wrong, isn't it? That's the fucking result, Let's start the beginning. Can you believe that? So he just wants to investigate me, right? He just wants to investigate me, but he won't investigate the dog warden. And the dog warden didn't take the dog to the vet. At the bottom line. For 24 is. hours when I'm treating her four times a day. The, it, bo did the, it. the bottom line is. Um, but look, there he goes, look. There he goes, look. There's all your charity money, look. All your charity money. Or animal killers. And the bottom Give line is. Give me a break from this fucking country.